Hello, Mr. Martino here from your favorite teacher. Today we're going to try and find the lowest common multiple, or LCM, of two numbers. To do that, we're going to be using the information from our prime factors and the highest common factor. So if you haven't seen those videos, I suggest you stop and take a look at them now. Otherwise, let's continue. So we're going to use, in our example, the number 60 and 84. So what is the lowest common multiple of 60 and 84? To do that, we start by first finding the prime factors of 60 and 84. And those are the prime factors, which you can verify. After finding the prime factors, we then find the highest common factor by first finding all the common numbers in both. In this case, I'm scratching them off one by one and using those numbers by multiplying them to get the highest common factor. In this case, it's 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12. So the highest common factor of 60 and 84 is 12. We then need to find the lowest common multiple. To find the lowest common multiple, we use the highest common factor and we multiply all the remaining factors after getting the highest common factor. In this case, the highest common factor which was 12. So the lowest common multiple is 12 times 5 times 7 which is 420. So let's do another example. Let's get the lowest common multiple of 56 and 120. Once again, we're going to get the prime factors. So in this case, those are the prime factors of 56 and 120. Second step is we get the highest common factor by scratching off each of the common numbers. And in this case, the highest common factor of 56 and 120 is 8. Now that we have the highest common factor, we can proceed to get the lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple is the highest common factor times all remaining factors. So LCM is equal to 8 times 7 times 3 times 5, which in this case is equal to 840. You can now find your LCM of the following pairs of numbers, and you can choose the red if it's not all that clear at the moment, you can use the amber if you have a little bit of confidence in what you need to do. And you can use the green if you know exactly what you need to do. This should take you between 7 to 10 minutes. And you can then pause this video for that length of time before going to the answers. Okay, we're going to go to the answers now. So the answers for red, amber, and green are right here. Hope this was helpful. This is Mr. Martino from your favorite teacher.